Hello, I'm Frank Spiro. Let's talk basketball. Let's catch up with the NBA and take a look around the league. The Minnesota Timberwolves parted ways with their head coach Ryan Saunders and hired Chris Finch as their new, not interim, but permanent head coach. Finch was an assistant coach on the Toronto Raptors staff five days ago. Confused? You should be! This is highly irregular! It's one thing to fire your coach midway through the season, but to go to another team and hire one of their assistants? That's like getting rid of your love seat, then going furniture shopping, but instead of buying a new chair, you purchase a rare artifact from the tomb of Trisbeck. A dark wizard banished from our realm for his power was too great. Like, cool, but where are you going to sit? All-Star reserves were announced this week, and as is the case with any All-Star game, there were some snubs. Most notable of the players not to make it was Suns guard Devin Booker, who's averaging 24.4 points per game on the number four seeded Phoenix Suns. LeBron James was upset about Booker's snub, calling him the most, quote, disrespected player in the league. <laughs> okay, LeBron, more disrespected than Nigel Pissbottom, the backup guard for the Thunder? Nigel, the player who all of the refs laugh at for his skinny arms and strangely elongated chin? Okay, sure, he's made up, but you don't know he's not a real player for the Thunder. No one knows all the players on Oklahoma City. <laughs> Pop quiz, who's the coach of the Thunder? Yeah, that's right, no one knows. It's an impossible question. Anyways, Booker's an all-star now. He took a D spot since he's injured. There are a number of first-time all-stars included in the reserves, like Julius Randle, Zach Levine, Jalen Brown, and Zion Williamson. When Williamson was asked if he might also participate in the dunk contest, he said, quote, You know what? I don't even know. Who knows? That's all I can say. Who knows? I might. You never know. But who knows? Which I guess is a fine response if you're talking about the All-Star game, but when you say that to your girlfriend of six years, when she asks if you're going to propose, suddenly she's crying and staying at her parents. Despite the Wizards' loss against the Clippers on Tuesday night, Washington has been on a roll lately. They beat the Lakers on Monday, which was their fifth straight win. Wizards player Rui Hachimura credits the season turnaround to everyone knowing their role. As a matter of fact, Hachimura said that at a recent practice, Russell Westbrook went around and quizzed everyone on their team role. There were apparently a couple of strange moments, like when he got to Alex Len and all Len said was, punish others. <laughs> that dude is crazy. Utah is the fastest team to make 500 threes in a season ever. They don't give out awards for that kind of thing, but maybe they should. Not like a trophy, but maybe like a... Like some kind of Boy Scout pin. Yeah, then they could wear it during games and the other teams could be proud of them. <laughs> yeah, that would be cute. This week, Phoenix beat Portland by 32 points, which is the Trailblazers' largest loss of the season. This is notable because when the season ends, the Trailblazers and the Suns could very well find themselves battling it out for the fourth and fifth seeds in the West which would also mean that they play each other in the first round of the playoffs. I know it might seem a little crazy to be looking at the playoff picture so early in the season, but also, I'm crazy! I'm crazy! You know, when I wrote that joke, I thought, oh, it's fine, we'll change it later. But then later never came. Check out the final moments of the Celtics vs. Mavs game. I'd like to see Boston get the ball in Brown's hands, or Tatum and attack, get into the paint, be aggressive, don't settle on this possession. Brown drives in, tie game! 107-107, eight seconds to go. Doncic, down to three seconds, two seconds. Doncic for the win, oh yeah! Luka Doncic! Oh yeah! What isn't in this clip is right before Brown's bucket to tie the game, Luka had hit another three to give the Mavs the lead. Luka is turning into one of those guys who if you're playing him and you're up by two with five seconds left, you feel positive that you're going to lose the game. He just instills hopelessness in opposing teams. Oh wait, you know what that is? That's depression. Luka's so good it's depressing. If you haven't heard, the new way to become a millionaire quick is NBA Top Shot. That's right, the NBA released their own online card collecting slash cryptocurrency 
where instead of coins, you're buying and selling your favorite NBA highlights. And it's working. On Monday, NBA Top Shot sales neared $34 million in a single day. Well, we here at Let's Talk Basketball think it's a great idea. And we're excited to announce Let's Talk Basketball Top Shot, a brand new cryptocurrency for your favorite Let's Talk Basketball highlights. Play the clip. <laughs> Chemeze Metu? <laughs> How about Chemeze Me Don't Think So? That's right, you can own that very punchline of Let's Talk Basketball for a cool $800. This is a limited edition clip. Want an even rarer clip? This one is on sale for $3,000. Uh, uh, Michael Porter Jr.? <laughs> How about Michael Porter Jr.? You're gonna need a bigger boat. On sale now. Thank you so much for watching. These are the people who helped. Please like, share, subscribe. We are going to be taking a little break. We're not going to be releasing any new episodes for a few weeks, but keep your eye on the feed as we re-release some of our favorite sketches. Also, follow us on TikTok at LT Basketball, where we're going to have some special live shows. Other than that, I'm Frank Spiro. This has been Let's Talk Basketball. We'll see you in April. Bye-bye.